Hey my TTs, welcome back. So I was pretty intrigued to see that somebody put out the letter that NBA Youngboy wrote to his pregnant girlfriend Jaslyn because I always jokingly say on my channel that I wonder what NBA Youngboy be telling these girls because as we know now he has eight baby mothers and I can't even count how many girlfriends that he has. But like I said, yes, yeah, somebody put out his letter and I'm assuming that it was his girlfriend Jaslyn. But when it was posted onto the Shave Room and the Shave Room Teens, it was from a different page so it's a little confusing but i'm gonna go ahead and read this letter that allegedly nba young boy wrote to his girlfriend jasmine this is what he said i have a hard time paying attention i then gave and i then been there for people without having nobody to be there for me even with people i talk to now if they wasn't waiting to receive or been giving something already they wouldn't be here i'm a man before anything i had to apologize to myself for not protecting my heart and allowing most of this to happen i read letters from my supporters and find joy inside and yes i said that right my supporters y'all are not my fans we scream f-a-n together forget a dude lol but all the jokes aside i ain't got nothing against nobody i don't want no problems neither just to stop speaking on me we don't concern each other i really just want to be there when my daughter is born i want to be in the same house as her while she grows up i never had that experience jazz i'm sorry mama i promise i'm sorry for every time i said something to another woman for every time they ever got the chance to come around i'll give you anything for you not to leave anything to have you when it's all said and done other than that i'm chilling i'm cooling with the ones who feeling like they ain't got nothing to live for that in the dorm it ain't too many i'm good though love you and the ones who really wish the best for me sincerely Contrail. now you can definitely tell that letter was from the heart and that was definitely sweet there was definitely three parts to this long letter that nba young boy wrote the first part was him talking about himself the second part was him you know thanking his fans and showing love to his fans which i thought was very nice and very sweet and then the last part was him talking about his girlfriend slash baby mother jaslyn and how he wants to live in a house with her to raise their daughter because he never had that now i was a little confused because i'm like nba young boy you've had many other baby mothers before jaslyn so you could have had that in the past but maybe he just didn't feel like them women were right who really knows but anyways we know jaslyn been missing and be a young boy a couple of weeks ago she posted this video here on the screen of her in nba young boy so i know she was definitely glad to at least receive that letter from nba young boy now child i'm not gonna even talk about the fact that nba young boy is right here apologizing to her about you know looking at or talking to other women and stuff like that but in his apology he didn't say that he wasn't going to do it again he just said that he will give her whatever to stay you know what I ain't even gonna talk about it. I ain't even gonna ask you guys' opinion about it. But I do wanna know you guys' opinion about the song that NBA Youngboy dropped yesterday. White Teeth. In my opinion, I felt like the video was very dope. I felt like it was different and I feel like the song was dope. But we already knew that, of course. Almost every NBA Young Boy song is dope, but you guys let me know what you feel about it in the comments below. Anyways, let's move on into CJ So Cool versus Funny Mike. Now, like I said in one of my recent videos, I'm definitely very disappointed in CJ So Cool because he went from this positive family man and now it looks like he's starting and creating all of this drama with all of these different YouTubers ever since royalty left him and his family left him and left the house. House. Now, like I said, he's been starting a lot of stuff with a lot of different YouTubers. He came for Pretty Boy Fredo. And like I said, he also came for DDG. He actually wanted to box DDG, but DDG declined it on his reaction video to his interview. And he also came for Funny Mike. He said that any big YouTubers who came out after 2019 copied him. And he said Funny Mike was one of them and he copied his whole blooper. And today, Funny Mike decided to respond to CJ So Cool. And he basically said that he didn't.
didn't even know who CJ So Cool was when he first started YouTube. That CJ So Cool needs to humble himself because anything that God gives you, he can take away. And amen to that. And basically, that CJ So Cool is a hater. Now, honestly, I cannot blame Funny Mike for responding to CJ So Cool because I feel like CJ So Cool definitely did not have to bring up Funny Mike's name and a lot of other YouTubers, especially when you're saying that they copied off of you like that's some serious allegations and it's sad that cj so cool had to do this i mean even if he felt like funny mike and a lot of other youtubers copied him i mean i'm pretty sure they didn't copy every little thing that he did probably some video topics why would you you know kind of put that out there just to try to embarrass them and just like funny mike said in his video it definitely shows how some people in the black community who you know get to the top they can't stand to see another person in the black community come to the top too they have to either put them down or be like oh i copied you when they could have been working together just like funny mike says cj so cool. and him could have made videos together and got tons of views but now it just looks like that is not going to happen one because cj so cool is not really with his family no more it doesn't seem like he's going to be making any more family videos and then for funny mike of course he's not going to work want to work with cj so cool anymore and honestly guys like i said in my last video i feel like this whole cj so cool and royalty situation was just because cj so cool is moving into something different i think he's trying to become an artist because recently he was talking about on his insta story how he's going to try to sign to the same label who signed six nine and since he is signing to this label and become this artist i just feel like he can't be in that family setting anymore and he can't be making those family videos i feel like that's probably what the label told him to do so they probably told him look make up something with your girl because it's hard for me to believe that this situation is actually real because CJ So Cool was posting everything. And if he was really hurt about his family leaving and royalty leaving, I don't think he would have been posting every single thing. But you guys definitely let me know what you feel about that in the comments below. Once again, my lovely TTs, thank you so much for watching Tea's Room. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. And I will see you in my next video.